Welcome back guys, my name is Mayo Waoye and it's another tutorial day and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cow draped armhole blouse step by step. So hit the subscribe button below your screen and let's proceed. So guys, for today's armhole cow blouse tutorial, you need to get your basic bodice patterns and here is mine that's my front pattern and this is my back pattern from the picture you would see that the um that is the design picture you would see that the blouse was made in the form of a shirt um with buttons and buttons turned on it but for mine i will not be making it in the form of a shirt it's going to be a normal regular blouse next thing i'm going to do is to trim off the excess paper i have at the sides of my pattern just like i'm doing right now now i'm going to get a new blank piece of paper and then i'm going to lay my patterns on it so i'm going to be starting with my front pattern then i'm going to lay that on the new blank piece of paper then i'm going to measure one inch down from that point right there and place my back pattern right at that Point and that's it so now i'm just going to add like a few more um extra paper to the side right there just so that i can give like an extension for my back um zipper so just measure one inch from there out so measure one inch out one inch out one inch out all the way to the hem and draw a straight line down so this gives me um an extension for my back which is going to serve as um the zipper for the back pattern please note that if you already have um, a zipper extension on your basic back pattern you don't need to do these extra bits of extension i'm doing you don't need to add any extension to your pattern you just need to go straight to the next part of this tutorial so but because my back my own back pattern doesn't have um, an extension that is a zipper extension was it already on my basic um, body's back pattern i had to do all of this so i hope you got the drift of everything i just explained now let's move on to the next phase of this tutorial so the next thing i'm going to do is to extend my shoulder line so you can just extend it by maybe four five or six inches it depends on you maybe four five inches should be enough so then you do the same also at the other side that is for the back pattern you also extend your shoulders and then you connect just like i'm doing so now i just connect both points together like this with a straight line and pretty much so that exposed part i'm just going to place a piece of paper there to just cover up the space so pretty much now i'm just going to cut off the excess bits of paper i have right there and then i'm just going to like cut the all like the excess i'm just going to cut the whole outline of my pattern rather i'm going to cut the whole outline of my pattern out from my shoulders to my neckline you can see everything being cut out right now and this is what my pattern looks like right now now at that one inch extension we marked before just connects the two points then um cut that out along that line you can see what i've just done so now this is what your pattern should look like now i'm going to draw in slash lines into my pattern to account for the drapes and the cow so i want to give the cow and the drapes more um volume so just like drawing slash lines like i'm doing right now so i've drawn in three so i have one two three slash lines now i'm just going to slash them open all the way to that point not cut it off so just slash them open to that point and then i'm just going to lay it on my fabric you can lay it on your paper first if you don't want to make any mistakes while laying it on your fabric so everything i'm going to do on my fabric now when you are doing yours you can start you can put it on a paper a blank paper first before you then cut on your fabric to avoid mistakes and here is the fabric i'm using which is a chiffon fabric you can also use a chiffon fabric if you want or you can use cotton you can use satin you can use silk whichever one you want a personal suggestion is for you not to use the fabric that is too thick in a way that your cows don't now drip well now to cut on your fabric the first thing you need to do is to fold your fabric just like i've done you can see that then you lay your patterns right on top of your fabric so the folded part is where you lay your front pattern on so your front pattern is 
meant to be unfold because this um tutorial in this tutorial i'm not accommodating the button i'm not putting the button stand like i have for the picture so my blouse has to be unfold because there isn't an opening in the front of my blouse i hope you got the drift of everything i just said now i'm going to spread out my slashed up pieces you can spread it out as much as you want spread it out as wide as you want and then you pin them all down so now you just need to cut out the outline right now so you just cut it out cut your back pattern along that part you can see what i'm doing i'm going to cut that part out and then also cut that um on that part that place you cut it also out and then i'm going to cut my neckline the neckline of my front that is and then cut the rest of my patterns out just like i'm doing so yeah pretty much and this is what your pattern should look like when you are done so now remember the five inches um, extension we did at the shoulders earlier remember to notch it just notch it down because that is where we'll be starting our pleats or our drapes from when we start sewing so you see what i'm talking about later when i decide when i'm showing you how to sew up the whole piece now let's move on to sewing it all up together to start my sewing i'm going to first take out all the pins on my pattern or my fabric just so that i can open up my fabric and then begin my sewing and that's it that's my front and that's my back this is it opened up this is that's the front that's the back um, line and that's where the zipper for the back is going to be so you get that so the back is the only one which has an opening because of the zipper now for the pleating remember the extension i asked you to notch earlier um, on your pattern when we were cutting so that is where you are going to be stopping your pleats when we um, begin the pleating so now i'm going to start pleating right now so i'm going to start from my neckline right there so you can see that i'm going to start my um, pleating from there and then i'm going to pin down and then i'm going to pleat another one that's making it two so i'll pleat another one and then and then i'm going to pleat another one which is going to make it about three so i have three pleats on my shoulders now now i'm going to do the exact same thing i've done i'm going to do that at the back also so i'm going to have like three pleats also at the back and then i'll do the same also for the other side of my front um shoulders and then i'm also going to have three pleats right there and then i'm going to pin them down and then i'll move on straight to the last part of my back that is the other um back piece and then i'm going to keep start pleating i'll pleat i'll pleat three pleats also at that point and then pin them down so now i'm going to place my shoulders um on each other right sides together and then i'm going to sew down so you place right on the sewing machine and then you sew by half inch remember to add allowances to your um fabric or your pattern when you are um when you're cutting because i didn't add that i didn't add it just because it's just like a miniature um version of the blouse so pretty much remember to add um allowances to your blouse so now i'm just going to sew that down right now and that's that so remember the notched part we talked about earlier where your pleats are going to end from there you sew a maybe one inch extension again just sew like one inch past your uh, pleats and then just stop there so pretty much now i'm just going to sew the other end of my blouse also that is the second shoulder i'm going to sew that down also and then um i'll show you what my blouse is going to look like so yeah this is what my blouse is going to look like and those are my shoulder lines right there so that's my back if you want to attach a zipper that's where you'll be attaching your zipper so now that's this is all there is to it so now i'm just going to put this on my miniature mannequin right now so that you can see the full fit and here it is attached to my miniature mannequin don't forget to turn on the subscribe button below your screen tap the like button also and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye